nine years, one of this city's biggest events will celebrate its 10th anniversary at a new location. Yeah, the Brevard Renaissance Fair was nearly without a home. Well, last December, your Brevard County reporter, James Parvero, told us about a dispute which ended with the county not giving the fair money to advertise the six-week festival. The organizer told James he was also at odds with the county about Wickham Park, but now a resolution has been reached that appears to make both sides pretty happy. So James takes us to where the Renaissance Fair will now be. So if you're one of the 80,000 people who come to the Brevard Renaissance Fair... You'll be putting on your knights or your peasants costume here this time. This is a huge vacant lot off of Wickham and Sarno. It's just a couple miles away from where the fair was at Wickham Park. Last December, that's where I met the founder of the fair, Pete Molhausen. And at the time, he was feeling really uncertain about the fair's future in Brevard County. Let's go catch up. All right, Pete, good to officially be here at the future site. Good seeing you again. You too, sir. This is 53 acres. You've got a lot of land for your Renaissance Fair next year now. This is a huge piece of property. It gives us lots of possibilities of things that we can do that we've never been able to do before. With lots of land, you've got a lot of work to get it ready, definitely cutting some grass. Tell us about the maintenance it will take to get the park ready. We already have teams of volunteers working on different projects for the fair, but we'll be moving on site October 1st, and it'll be a full all-out work schedule until opening day in the middle of January to try to get this site ready. One of the criticisms I do see, because we're close to the landfill here for the county, some people are wondering, is it gonna smell? Well, if there is a little odor coming from the hills of Melbourne, it'll just make it that much more realistic, that much more like the Renaissance period. But we haven't noticed that at all. We've been out here a lot. All right, Pete, so we'll see you again in January, six weekends in a row. What can your guests expect that you think will make this site maybe even more special than Wickham Park was? We have a lot of things planned for this year. We'll have new stages. We've got some new acts coming in, things that people haven't seen before. And we're going to work a lot with local businesses and help them get into the show. All right. Best of luck, sir. We'll talk again Thank then. Thank you. Thanks, Pete. All right. Take care, James. All right, such a good story. James Sparvero always does so well covering Brevard County for us. Usually you're out here kind of on an island. It's exciting to be on TV with you, my friend. It's my first time on the set in all of my eight years here that's at crazy. Channel 6. Wow. If you can believe it, because you guys are here, that's why. And you're always busy covering stories here in yeah. Brevard Melbourne. County. Yeah. Melbourne specifically, maybe once a week, once a month at the most, because like that U-Haul stat we showed tells us that more people are moving to this part of the country, yeah. including Palm Bay, than anywhere else. It's yeah. incredible. And, yeah. and I've noticed a lot of people here came here for some reason, and then they stayed for a really long time. And that feels like what's happening uh, to you, James. I bought a house three years ago. I couldn't be more blessed. You know, I'm living this single dog dad life at the beach. <laughs> to live that life, not it's bad. not so bad to pick this location, to be honest, Matt. Oh, man, that's fantastic. James Barbero, and you have covered every, all the stories that we've shown yeah. on the screen. Uh, man, you've covered that. so many things. You do such a great job for us, so I'm glad we get to get you on set for once. And James, I can see why you would love to be here and continue to work here, because even when you were talking, we had people coming up here, snapping pictures. What yeah. a great community. Good you can people, feel huh? the love they in care this community. And yeah. I care about this community, too. Yeah. That's why I don't want to leave. Look, if I was not at Channel 6, I'd do something else to stay here. That's how much <laughs> I love it here. It's well, true. We'll keep you at Channel well, 6, and we'll keep you right here, James. That's a good plan. I love it. Thank you, my friend. We beautiful people and beautiful scenery. For sure.